Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday, y'all. I know it's the middle of the night. It is nine o'clock Central Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern. And I know you all are saying, uh, why are we doing our Sunday so late? <laughs> but there was a lot going on today. Okay. I need y'all to back up, bear with me. Because we are going to do this on today. Mm -hmm. Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. This is our Sunday. We get together. S-O-N day because it is his day all day. But today, um, I'm just getting back from Atlanta. We just had six-figure school in Atlanta. So I am jacked out of my mind. Guys, leaders, you need to be poured into too. Okay, just because you're a leader doesn't mean that you don't need a recharge, that you don't need to be the student sometimes. So this weekend, I got a chance to be the student and I got to sit at the feet of my mentor and coach and so many other amazing leaders who poured in to us. And guys, it was phenomenal. So I'm just getting back and um, hopefully everybody had an amazing day. But today we want to talk about a very important topic. Like, share, like, share. Make sure you uh, let everybody know. Hey, 2020, my mind is going to another level. I'm trying to bring as many people with me. I need you to be a part of my mastermind group. If you're not communicating and associating with people that are trying to take their mind to the next level, guys, it's time to cut, cut, right? We, we talked about that last week. But today we're going to talk about lean not upon thy own understanding. Mm, coachability index. Yes, yes, yes. And many people don't think about this. We don't think about uh, coachability because we go through life. We go through, you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, college. We even get on jobs and we don't need to be coached. So, so this is a topic that, you know, many, many, many people never talk about. Um, so good evening. Hey, Dexter, brand new two-star director. Yeah. Dexter Grill, you better go. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Shantara. Hey, Orlando. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, LaShante. That is uh, good to see you tonight. Hey, everybody tuning in. Hey, Cheryl. To Cheryl. Cheryl Smith. Cheryl Cobra. Hey, y'all. Hey, Zena. Hey, Willie. Hey, everybody. Um, let's talk about, let's bring this to the, because I'm going to ask you to keep it real with you. I'm not going to ask you to think about who you know. I'm not asking you to judge anybody. This is you versus you conversation tonight, okay? So we're not going to talk about who needs to... Mm -mm. First, I want you to ask yourself, are you where you want to be? Let's just, let's just put it out there. Are you where you want to be financially, physically, spiritually, emotionally? At one time, I remember reading that Oprah had 11 coaches. 11 multi-millionaire, billion-dollar lady. Excuse me, Oprah, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Billion-dollar lady. If she can have the wherewithal to understand she needed 11 coaches, how is it that we don't think we need one? Go ahead and let that resonate. I have a lot of people. You guys know I'm in the industry of network marketing. Many of you know I have a, a desire to help mentor, coach people. I, that's what I do. But it's amazing how many people uh, come into the industry of home-based business and say it doesn't work. Those things don't work. But they never actually have anyone to show them how to work it. Guys, here's what I, I have learned in the past decade I've been in this industry. In the past 10 years I've been in the industry. It works, but you need a coach and a mentor. It will work if somebody's showing you how to do it. You must find someone who has results. Not your problem. They have your solution. Because you can, there's a lot of people giving broke advice. There's a lot of people, they love giving broke advice. They love talking about things they have not accomplished and telling you how to get there. Guys, I'm sorry. If you're my personal trainer, you need to be fit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anybody agree with me? Like that? Love that? But if you're my personal trainer, you need to be fit. If you are a chef, I should like your food. You should be a good cook, right? And if you are a network marketer, you should have documentation. You should have results. You should get some checks. 
So, so anybody who is uh, starting something new, you desire to be somewhere, you desire to get results, find somebody who's done it and follow that voice. And I hear there's so many people who get into the industry and because they have had success in corporate America, success as being a parent, success as being a manager, a supervisor, success at their church, success, they had success, which is great. Success breeds success. But if you don't have success doing this, everybody say, be quiet. I want the next 10 people to comment below, be quiet. Just be, be quiet. I'm not going to say, because see, too many people come with their cup full. There's a motivational speaker I love, E.T. Some of y'all know Eric Thomas. And Eric Thomas talks about you know, a young protege wanting some information and the master or the guru said, I cannot help you. Your cup is already full. And too many people who should be great, they already good, but they should be great. But their cup is too full for the master to pour into the cup. How many of us consider ourselves truly coachable, trainable, teachable? There are so many people, yesterday my mentor said that there are people who come to him and say, I got a plan. This is what I'm going to do. I got this. This is what's about to happen. And he says, everything that they think they're supposed to be doing, they shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> like the whole plan, throw the whole plan away. Somebody comment below, throw the plan away. Throw the whole, start over, do over, do over. Because you cannot coach yourself. Can you encourage yourself? Yes. Can you speak positivity to yourself? Yes. Can you inspire yourself? Yes. You can't coach yourself. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't coach yourself. Okay? Let's just get that out there. And, and is coaching mandatory? No. I mean, you know, this is a voluntary army. If somebody's telling me, you know, I tell them I want a six pack. I want to be snatched for the new year. But this is what I'm about to do. I'm telling my personal trainer, this is how I get this done. Guys, if you already had the answer, you'd already be at the result. If you already knew, what would you need to coach for? If you, here, Mr. Bradley has said something that I love. He said, we have a pile theory. What is the pile theory? Somebody want to know. The pile theory is, if you are the, in the presence of, of somebody out earning you, you should be quiet. If you're in the presence, because whoever pile is bigger. So when I'm in a conversation with Orlando, I'd be quiet. If I'm in a conversation with Shedrick, because these are these people are out earning me. They have knowledge. I don't, when I'm talking to my mentor, I'm not on the phone. I know, I know, uh-huh, uh-huh, I know, I know. There's so many people. You try to give them, I know, I know, I know. They're cutting you off, I know. Guys, if you knew, you'd already be there. If you knew, you'd have the documentation and the corresponding results. Is there any bad in not knowing? No. It's okay not to know. And it's okay to be on your journey. Ten years ago, I didn't know. Guess what? And my check reflected that I didn't know. <laughs> so... But my mentor told me, his mentor told him, leave her alone. My mentor was told by his mentor, leave her alone. She's not going to listen. And to this day, I owe him my life. Because even when I was back talking and talking, giving him back talking, he still never abandoned me. He never gave up on me. He never turned his back on me. He always believed the best in me. So even when people buck you, and I'm not talking about blatant disrespect, but when people are in the infant state of becoming who they are supposed to be, many times, again, that's a business immaturity move to talk while your coach and mentor is talking. When you grow in business and you grow in life, you learn that you don't have anything to prove, right? When people have something to prove, there is a bit of insecurity with that. 
okay? So whenever somebody, you're saying, oh, I, I know I did that, I know, I know, I know, I know, that stems from insecurity about their leadership or insecurity about their knowledge. But when people sit back and they observe and they go, yes, you're right, got it. That means that they have a sense of, I, I know who I am, I'm okay with who I am, and I'm okay with you pouring into me. That's called business maturity. And it's called emotional intelligence. When you have enough emotional intelligence to allow someone, it doesn't mean that you're beneath that person. It doesn't mean that you're not capable. It doesn't mean anything bad about you. It just means that you're competent enough to handle the coaching. And guess what coaching does for you? It gives you a shortcut. Anybody want a shortcut to the destination? Or do you want to take the long way? <laughs> I want a shortcut. You know, my mentor, he's been doing millions of dollars for decades. I'm still trying to get my first million done. Okay, we, we become multi six figures. That's cool, but that's not a million dollars. Okay, <laughs> so I don't need to tell him what I need to be doing. He needs to tell me what I need to be doing. And if he's trying to pour into me, that's like you being a lifeguard. You see somebody out there in the ocean drowning, right? They're drowning, but you go out there and you're swimming to go get the person and then they're flailing their arms. And the whole time you're trying to save them, they literally are taking you out because they can't calm down and just stand still. At that point, if you're a responsible lifeguard, you're going to have to swim away because you can't allow somebody to kill you because they won't. So you, some of you are going to have to just peace be still. Close your mouth. I understand you over 18. I got that. I know you're a great parent. I got you a great husband, a great wife. I understand you the manager, you in charge on your job. But if you want to make money, if you want to get snatched, if you want success spiritually, have a spiritual mother or father. My spiritual father, Mr. James Glenn, um, his lovely wife, my first lady. I love when they pour into me. I have nothing to say. I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm not going to tell them about the scriptures unless we're talking and they ask me my opinion. He is the minister. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him, no, no, no. Because he's the, he's the scholar and I respect him as such. And if you respect your mentor, you may not. But if you don't respect them, they shouldn't be your coach or your mentor. But find one. Find one. Everybody needs a coach and everybody needs a mentor. And make sure that person is documented to the point where you want to go. Please stop finding coaches and mentors who are at the same level as you. That doesn't work. Find somebody who has major results. Find somebody who's had sustainable results over the course of time. So then there's a fly by. It's all these people popping up on the internet, charging you for coaching and mentorship. I'm always a little leery every time somebody, because I could pay me. I mean, I, people could pay me. There, I have documented results. I could be an internet coach. But I'm not. I don't charge people. I don't do that. Because to me, that is someone who can't build a proper legacy of residual income. You don't have the capability to build. So you're gouging off of little people. You're trying to take advantage of people. No. When you are a real guru, when you are a real boss, right? You're able to build strong networks. You're able to build networks of people. And you don't need to you know, do all these things to get people um, to do something you haven't done. So I, I always like the fact that my coaching and mentorship is free. <laughs> Nobody pays me anything extra. I'm not here to, to, to charge people. Um, that's the great thing is a lot of people don't even want free coaching. <laughs> it's not even, we're not even charging. But some people are just so, it's called E-G-O, ego. And, and we got to learn to table that because we, we, the people who are really winning, they trade their ego for equity. Equity is where it's at. And in order for you to be wherever you're trying to go, listen, listen. I want the next 10 people, please comment below. I will be coachable. If today you know you are highly uncoachable, it's okay. It's Sunday. Come to the altar. <laughs>
<laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. Because I was uncoachable. I was completely uncoachable. And still to this day, you know, I'm working because I always have in my mind how it should be done. <laughs> you know, I, I, that's just me. I always have in my mind it should be done this way. But my mentor may say different. My mentor may say, not a good idea. And I'm thinking, right? So I sometimes I'll call my brothers in success and I'll go, hey, I think this is a great idea. I'll call my mentor. I'll say, hey, is this a good idea? And they'll be like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, dang, I thought I, thought I was on to something. Guys, listen, seek wise counsel. Please, if I can tell you anything, we're, we're still in the beginning of 2020. You, you're, you still got time to turn this ship around. If you've been on the uncoachable path, turn this thing away. Turn it around. Get on the coachable path, okay? <laughs> if you've been uncoachable, it's okay. But you need to always, if you get ready to do or make a move, you need to ask somebody, do you think this is a good idea? I've been thinking about this. So be a self-starter. I'm not saying you, you need to stop being a self-starter. I'm talking about completely leaning upon your own understanding. You giving yourself a game plan. You counseling yourself. You talk. I'm, great. Guys, seek wise counsel. Everything you do, just ask your coach and mentor, do you think this is a great idea? Period. That's all I'm saying. And when you do that, you're on the right path. Okay? All hearts and mind clear. I hope I didn't step on your toes too bad on this Sunday. You know I love y'all. <laughs> you know I love you. But so many people who are doing good should be great. And so many people who are great should be astounding. But because they won't listen, they never going to get there. Because they won't allow anybody to pour into them, they won't get there. And I don't want that to be you. I don't want it, I don't want it to be me. So every day I'm telling myself, be quiet, listen, be more coachable, trainable and teachable. <laughs> Exercise emotional intelligence, JP. So if you need to tell yourself, if you're talking to yourself about anything, tell yourself to be quiet and listen. <laughs> Stop telling yourself a game plan because that's not going to work. Scratch that, throw it out the door. If you're looking at this tonight for the first time, if you're live, put a one down there in the comments. If you are replaying, put a two down there. Hey, what's going on? I got my sister in the UK. What are you doing up this late at night, Adike? What are you doing up? I love you. Elaine, Katrina, what's going on, Trina? Hey, Ellie. Hey, how are you? I got people watching this from all over the world. Hey, guys, it's such an honor to speak, to talk, for us to have these conversations on Sunday. Uh, but let me tell you, coachability can be your strongest weapon. Because so many people will give you something that other people won't get because they won't listen. They'll stop fooling with those people. But if you can have that presence to just listen and be coachable, great people will gravitate towards you. Great people will give you secrets. Great people will give you mentorship because they see your human amazing characteristic. I love it. It's attractive. It's sexy. Humility. So stay humble. <laughs> and um, thank you guys for being on tonight. Lean not on your own understanding. Have a great evening, guys. Good night.